the other questions. How to determine the difference between God and Jesus in the Bible? It's a good question. Um, now that that question really that's whew, that's a whole breakdown. Yeah, uh, Deacon Athanda went over it one time, uh, but we'll give you some simple ones. Uh, go to Matthew nineteen and sixteen, and I don't know which part you're talking about because sometimes it says God and it's talking about uh, Christ, um, but a lot of times you'll know when both of them are mentioned. Um, I'll give you a few precepts. Uh, let's go to Matthew 19 and 16 first. And then get me that one in 1 John where it says to the Father and to the Son. Matthew 19 and 16. The book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Uh-huh. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. There is none good but one. Read. That is God. That is what? That is God. So one way is Christ makes reference to the Father a lot of times throughout the scriptures. Um, to answer this question completely, I would know to know. I would need to know which specific scriptures you're speaking about. But go to First John. First John, chapter no, Second John. 1 and 3. 2 John 1 and 3. This is another example. 2 John verse 3. Grace be with you. Mercy and peace. Uh -huh. From God the Father. From what? From God the Father. From God the Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. Read. The Son of the Father. The Son of the Father. Read. In truth and love. In truth and love. Um. Yeah, we can go there, too. Go to a Revelation, I think it is. And... Read verse 6. 1 and 6. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 6. And hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. Made us kings and priests unto God and his father. Read. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Now go to Daniel. No, go to, uh, before we go back to the Old Testament, go to uh, 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh-huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh-huh. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh-huh. And the head of Christ is is God. And the head of Christ is God. So uh, those are just some quick examples but like I said, I would need to know which scripture um, you want to know uh, the clarification on that one because throughout the whole Bible, there is hundreds if not thousands of instances where you have to differentiate which one is being uh, mentioned. Like, for example, I'll give you one more example. Go to 1 Corinthians 10. And uh, let's read verse, let's start at 1. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. Uh-huh. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud, uh -huh. and all passed through the sea. Read. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Uh-huh. And did all eat the same spiritual meat. Read. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. Uh-huh. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. They drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. Read. And that rock was Christ. And what? And that rock was Christ. That rock was Christ. What is this letting us know? Which one of you black shirts can answer that? What is that letting us know? Uh, let me hear. Uh, that Jedi. Yeah. Hey, Shalom leadership. Shalom, Shalom, bro. Most like Christ bless. How you Most doing? Christ bless. Bless. How you doing today, bro? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. All pray. I'm glad to see you. Yeah. It's letting us know from the time of Egypt when Moses was speaking to God, who we thought was God, mm -hmm. it's actually Jesus Christ Moses was talking to. Absolutely correct. So it's letting us know that Jesus was where? What was he present at? Repeat that again, sir. What was Jesus present at? What time period? He was present during what? He was present during the time of pretty much from the beginning during the time of Abraham and during the time of Adam and Eve. Right. So he was present during the Old Testament as well. That's what I wanted you to get. 
The scriptures say, where there is no vision, the people perish. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. I'm going to show you and prove to you that the Israelites are black, were always black, always Dance no time, just move up your body. Don't get loose and groove on the body. Bruce wine. Put on the arm of the procedure complete. Me not go back now, retreat. I'll treat as every Jesse Bell must get delete. Me no sleep on a demon, me keep a full clip. Conspire me down, fuck. Cause them ones see me slip. Stay close to the real ones, I see life and legit. Cause I gotta use them to keep your soul from the pit. This a wild life. I saw the damn shit. He was there in the Old Testament. Well, you been, you correct, you specific in your answer, but I wanted to the general so y'all understand that. He was there in the Old and in the New. Go ahead, Cap. Yeah, just two more as well. Um, Let's go to Matthews chapter 9. I mean, 6 verse 9. Just to get, there's a huge difference and significance between the Father and the Son. All right? It's always been a difference. And as this question is saying, how do you determine the difference? between God and Jesus in the Bible. All right. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. Read. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, mm -hmm. our Father, which art in heaven. Our Father. Christ was including himself, speaking and praying to the Father. There's a difference. There's a huge difference. And it always has been a difference. Christ said, our Father, who art in heaven. So Christ is praying to his Father as well. Read on. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Holy is thy name. Read. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Read. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. So you got to understand. Remember, God means power. All right. And God made man in his image. All right. So we were made it in the image of God. So there are that you have God, like it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Right. God, Christ, man, woman. That's the order. There are differentiations. Let's get another one real quick. Go to Matthews chapter 27 and uh, read verse 46. Matthew chapter 27 verse 46. Mm -hmm. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, I'm Eli, Lama, Seben, Sebenithi, Sabachani. It's all right. I know we don't speak the Hebrew. The most I ain't give that to us yet. You good. That, that is great. to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Right. So he was speaking to his father. My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? He was speaking that in Hebrew at the time, right, um, to, to his God. So it, uh, Christ and the father, they're two different. Uh, I guess you could say they're, they're two different entities, beings, whatever you want to call it. All right. They're two. They're, they're different. Y'all understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll praise this. Um, I think we can continue from. All right, next question. What does it mean to have peace with everybody? Does it include the other nations, even at work? Mm. I know that's hard, y'all. I know that's hard. <laughs> Let's go to Romans 12 first. Uh, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. You keep peace with all men, right. all men, heathen and Israelites. I remember Deacon Ithon used to explain it a lot back in the day. You know, he'd be like, um, we have to be cordial with them. You understand? Meaning, yeah, I mean, sometimes you might be in situations like firefighters where your, your, your co-workers are eating might, you have to freaking um, end up saving his life. That's your job. That's the occupation. You're not going to let him, uh, something bad happen to him. So it's about using wisdom. You know what I'm saying? I work, I'm a mechanic myself, right? I work around people. Hell, a whole bus can fall on somebody. That just because he eat him, I'm just going to let him just die? No, I'm going to try to do what I need to do to save that person's life. Remember, we got to understand. I know we're going to go to it, Cap. Let me get that real quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, vengeance is of the Lord. Vengeance of the Lord. Let me get that verse real quick. That's the same chapter. What was that? That's the same uh, chapter. Oh. That he did that to read. Pooty, go ahead, go ahead, read that. Right. Uh, start at verse 17. Yes, sir. <laughs> Romans chapter 12, verse 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. So the scripture says recompense no man evil for evil. Um, we know a lot of times we, we want to treat the white man a certain way because of what he's done. The Arab man, the African man, all the nations, we want to treat them a certain way for, for what they've done from us. But the Bible's letting us know 
Recompense no man evil for evil. Read. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Our job is to provide things honest in the sight of all men, that we are blameless. Our reputation is blameless with the way we carry ourselves. Read. If it be possible. If it what? If it be possible. Uh Uh-huh. As much as lieth in you, Uh live peaceably with all men. Live peaceably with all men, whether they are Israelites, whether they are Romans, whether they are Americans, it does not matter. Our job is to keep peace with the other nations. Remember, is this is this our rest? No. So while we're here, do we have any authority? Do we have any dominion? None at all. So at all times, we got to make friends with the other nations. Nine times out of ten, they're going to be your employer. They're going to be your educator. They're going to be your water supplier. They're going to be your garbage man. They, they do everything. We are nursed by the other nations. So we want to keep a, a spotless reputation so that we don't have a certain mindset towards us. Even though that's, that's going to happen. Every captivity, the nations um, paint a narrative that we are against everything that's set up by them. Even though we are, but it's not in a manner of we trying to overthrow America so we can set up our own America. That's, that's not what it is. We understand that vengeance is the Lord. Read the next verse. Verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, uh-huh. but rather give place unto wrath. So it says, avenge not yourselves, but give place unto wrath. Read. For it is written. Vengeance is mine. Uh huh. I will repay, said the Lord. Now give me that in Matthew, um, a uh, Luke where it says, uh, "Make friends with the mammon of the earth." Luke sixteen, I think it is. So to answer your question, yes, yes, yes. Keep friends of the other nations. Keep peace with the other nations at all times. I give you an example. I got a car right now in my uh. In, in the front of my house that my father gave me because uh, he keep peace with his with his enemies. He's a landscaper. I don't know how many cars he don't got over the years because he keep peace with the people that he deal with, the other nations. Likewise with us. They have things that we don't have. Esau got material possessions and connections that, that will blow your mind. And when you friends and acquaintances with them, they're able to help you. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 9. Mm -hmm. And I say unto you, make to yourselves friends of the mammon of unrighteousness. Hold on. What did the Bible say? Make to yourselves friends of the mammon of unrighteousness. Is that a suggestion or a commandment? That's a commandment. Make to your friends mammon of unrighteousness. Read. That when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. Right. When you fall, they are able to help you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.